Hi and welcome to this video tutorial with me Wayne from drclean.co.uk. In this tutorial we're going to be ironing a woman's formal jacket made of wool. As with everything we do there's going to be an order of play and on this jacket we're going to do the sleeves and then we're going to do the main body, mostly from the reverse side. This is a Hobbs jacket, what we don't want to do is let it shine. Now if you haven't got a vacuum heated board, that's okay, it helps, but it's not totally necessary. The one thing that's exceptionally useful is the Teflon shoe, it stops a lot of the shine. If you haven't got that, you're going to have to use one of our tools, which is the cloth. And the cloth will come in handy to put over the fabric and then use our spray to spray on top. Once that's wet, we can iron on this cloth, pushing steam through underneath and letting that dry off. That'll make sure you don't shine anything. You see I've just been over that with a hot iron. Nothing shined at all. Um, in fact, it gives it a really nice lustrous look when you do that. To do the sleeves, we're going to start and what we're going to do initially is collapse the sleeve board so that we're that we can fit it into the sleeve. And you can see what I've done there. I've actually just moved this rolling area, this rolled area, right up to the top of the sleeve. And I'm just steaming all the creases out that I can. Just going to lightly steam, wait for it to dry, steam another area, wait for it to dry go right the way around. Like We're hardly touching the fabric at all with our iron. You see why it's quite important to do the sleeves first. Because we really don't want to throw the main body of the jacket around. Once we've actually started it, so if we did it the other way round, we'd actually be ruining our good work. Let's just set up the sleeve board properly again. And unlike a man's jacket, a woman's jacket does not need a military finish. Effectively, what we want is a round, soft look to the clothes. You see, I'm barely touching that sleeve. The vacuums are actually working through this, I'm just sucking away any steam that's below this, so I just dry it off a little bit quicker. You can see I'm hardly touching. What I want is a rounded finish to that sleeve so that it's soft. Women are soft, men are hard. And so we have the military finish on the man's and a nice soft finish on the ladies' jackets. There we go, we have a round sleeve there, which is exactly what we want. Well, now I've got a second sleeve to do, haven't we? So I'm going to pop this down, get this inside the sleeve, up to the top. I'm barely touching it, I want steam to do the work, it is wool, and wool reacts really well to steam. Just barely touching the fabric. Put that on, let's just have a look. Just wait until the heat starts to go, starts to cool again, and then you know that position is probably set. Start on the main body. 
Now women's jackets are much more fitted than men's. There's a complete here, a dart that's putting the fabric. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to that point and then come back again. So, very lightly on. That's on on the lining I can see slightly more. that portion of that jacket there, no more. Okay. Make sure that any pockets are actually flat. Uh, this jacket, I checked before, still had the pockets done up. Um, they were pulse pockets. Don't do more than you can get done that's absolutely flat. So I only did one section of the jacket there. I say, women's jackets are much more fitted than men's, and so you often can get far less done. When you come to a vent, you want that vent absolutely as it should sit before you iron it. Okay? That section. This does have a slight expansion flap on it. In. And when you move it on and get to the next section of the vent, you've still got to put it absolutely in place. We aren't choosing here new jackets, we're choosing jackets that have been well worn. Add the dart there, but it's it difficult to get in. So we'll go that side of the dart. And this side of the dart. That's the off there. And you want to avoid any heavy pressure over buttons. Now we definitely want this lapel just rolled in, just slightly rolled. So all we're doing is we're going to steam through and rolling it. And you can get a finger or two and just hold it in place so that you're not putting any creases in here at all and it's nice and soft, not hard and man-like. Exactly the same thing again. Didn't actually touch it with our arm at all. Just going to up. And there we have it. We've done a woman's formal jacket in wool. And we can look at it and see if there's anything wrong and touch it up. But that's ready to wear. Mm -hmm.